Oh ja, 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 yes, 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 ja, 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 finally, 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 yeah, finally, yes, yes, finally, finally, I can try, I can try, I can test it, let's open it up, oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Finally turn on and yeah, let's go. Ooh. That looks no wait. What is this? Oh no, a dead pixel. Okay, okay, I'm just kidding. I bought these RGB Matrix as broken, so with dead pixels. And today I want to show how to get rid of these dead pixels like this one. And for this I'm going to use another RGB panel and I will take one LED out of here and put it in this place where the broken one is. And I want to show it to you, so stay tuned. I want to talk a little bit about the problem. So in this example we have one LED that is not showing the blue and every other color is fine, so the red and the green is showing correctly and yeah, it's just one channel of the LED that is broken. It could also be on other boards a problem with the driver EC from it, but in most cases is it just the LED. To repair it we need one hot air station. A soldering iron isn't really good or made for this job. And also we need some kind of screwdriver in this case. Here on this board we have some kind of plastic that is screwed on top of the PCB and in between are the LEDs itself. There are of course also boards where no plastic is screwed onto it where you can see directly the LEDs as for example this one then you don't need a screwdriver because there are no screws. Also we need some kind of heat resistant tape. I'm using cup tone tape for it because it's yeah very heat resistant and will not let any yeah, glue behind on the LEDs. On my panel, it's a 64 by 64, I'm having four plastic tops that I can screw uh, one by one apart. So I will only screw away this part so I don't have to screw every screw out. And yeah, I'm just using a Phillips head screwdriver and putting it in there. I will also leave the display on for now so I remember which LED is the broken one. So in this case here it is somewhere. Uh, yes, there it is. So I'm having all except the middle screw out. The middle screw is only screwed into the PCB but the um, it isn't going out so easy, so I will first remove the plastic cover um, up to the middle and will then screw the screw out <laughs> while, while pulling it up so it's easier to get it out like this. And then I can go on. and forget another screw, like this. Also they have some kind of alignment, uh, you have to yeah, just look at it and put it the right way on again. I will put the cup tone tape over every other LED except the broken one, so I have a point so I can remember where the LED was.
So kind of like this. And I will turn on the hot air station. I set it to about 350, like this. And we can start to heat up the LEDs or the broken LED. Also, it is quite easier with some kind of tweezer and you just have to put the hot air at the LED and the surrounding to heat it up aligned and every now and then try to move the LED like this and now the old LED is gone. We also need a new or working LED. For this I'm having this matrix where also one LED is broken and I already desoldered one here. So I will just took or take the next one to it. And yeah, as you already know how to do it, I will skip this part for now. Okay, here is now the working LED from the other panel and you also need to look for the correct direction of it. It's very hard to show here on camera but you can kind of see three dots in the middle and one bigger part that is also going to the middle. And you have to look at the installation of the current LEDs and just have to match it up. And we can directly start soldering the working LED in. I will turn on the hot air station. I will take the LED and let it flip away. Oh no! Okay, so you have to be really careful to not let the LED fly away. And I will preheat now the PCB a little bit. Something like this. And then we'll gently lift the LED on top to the pit. Some kind of this. And that is, isn't looking too bad. After letting the board cool down for a bit, we can test the new LED. I will plug in the power supply and it now should light up completely. So we had red, blue and yeah, it's working fine. Very nice. Now we can remove the cup tone tape and also can screw the top plate back on again, but that's all. Okay, that's it for today. I will now try to do the same thing on all the other panels I got here that are broken. And they are really nice to look at, but the camera isn't liking it. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you learned something or can use it for yourself. Mm -hmm.